Hello all and welcome to the latest Craft Mania video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a 3D embossing paint. Um, it's a great product, it gives you the effect as if you've heat embossed it but without having to faff with heat guns and embossing powders and ink pads. The good bit as well is it's only one product instead of several so it's a little bit cheaper to use too. All you need is the pot of paint and the applicator. So let's show you how it works. Um, basically these are your applicators, you can see I've got these lovely sponges, um, you get three of the big ones in a packet and one of the small ones for so $4.99 and then your pastes come in loads of different colours but we'll cover that in a little while. We're going to start off using the transparent one, um, often missed by many because uh, it doesn't have the same glitz and glamour as the others but it's actually one of my favourites. All I'm using is just a script stamp for this and we just sponge it straight over the top of the stamp. Once you've completed that, I'll stamp it that way so you can see what it looks like. Pop that off there. Move the stamp. It's a bit of a sticky one this one, so don't be worried if it takes your stamp with it. When you peel it off, that's what it will look like to begin with. So you can see a little bit of a hue of white in there, um, if the camera's picking that up. But if you can't, don't worry, it's just where it's wet. This is one that I did a little earlier. Um, so you can see now it's got a really lovely glossy effect to it. It would also be quite nice to do with resist techniques, had we not done it on black. It would certainly resist other inks and mediums, so you could get some nice effects with this one. Um, again, really lovely, like that one a lot. Uh, but now we'll move on from the transparents and take you on to some of the more sparkly ones because we know that you'll like a little bit of a sparkle. Um, one of the good things with this paste is that we can use it in so many ways. Um, as you see on the card I've done, we've done it with stencils, we've done it with stamps. This is one of our new stamps. This is a nice big design. It's uh, 5 99 and it's coming up in a couple of our upcoming lessons, so you might have seen it on Facebook through the cards that we've got coming up in them. Um, but it's a nice bold print. So for this one I'm going to use my little applicators, and we're going to go for pink flowers and purple leaves. So I'm not going to be too precise because I don't want to keep you waiting forever to see this effect. So if it looks a little bit slap happy, it's because it is. But again, it's one of them things that you don't have to be too precise with. You could just get a little bit of the purple. Stick that one around here. Purple leaves, pink flowers. The rough aim. Again, this is why the, the little ones are quite nice, because if you can work into all the delicate areas, if you do happen to cross over a section, you can always go back with the other colour and pat over the top of it. Just touch up a couple of little bits in there, just in case. And this time, although on my card I've stamped it onto the craft card, we're going to stamp it onto the black just because it will show you a different effect. So I'll stamp that onto there, and there's your effect with that one. And on the black, you'll notice more than with our card, you actually get that really nice silver contrast that's in them. That really is more highlighted on dark colours. But I quite like the shabby chicness of the craft card. So I thought I'd show you a, a couple of different ways. Um, so that's that. And then moving on to different mediums that you can stamp onto. Uh, most products like this wouldn't be able to, but this one you can use on acetate. So one of the nice bits with this is that you can make some nice 3D butterflies to layer on your project. So again, you can go onto the big door this time. Save a little bit of time. When stamping on acetate with it, do be careful because obviously the acetate is more slippery than card. It hasn't got that same absorbency. So do be careful that you don't slip and um, ruin your image. The good bit is, is if you do, you can wipe it off and start again. It's not the end of the world. Run it under some water and you've not wasted your acetate. Um, but when that's dry, we could then cut it out like we have on our card here and fold them up and glue them on. You get that nice effect on here too. And then lastly, I thought I'd show you a little bit of stenciling. Stenciling is so often missed, uh, but it's a wonderful thing that we can do with this paint. So let's go for this nice big outward burst, shall we? This stencil, if you've not seen it before, is really good value because you're getting four different pieces on here to use 
for only ten ninety nine. So um, it's not too bad a purchase, and a lot cheaper than if you was to buy four individuals. Now I'm just going to be a bit sloppy with this one. I'm not going to be too precise because it's only for a quick little demo. But we'll go over the bits that we get messy in a minute. I'm working a little bit more colour to the base. But for speed, we can use the big one. It's the good bit about the backs having two different sizes, to be honest. You can mix and match for the project you're doing without it being too much hassle. Right, let's just finish that off. That shouldn't be too bad. Now, if you were doing this properly, you'd possibly be a little bit neater than I've been and do around your edges, but isn't that a lovely effect? Even the mixed in colours are quite nice. And again, if you wanted to, you could wait for it to dry and add in a few more patches over the top of the other colour to just tie it all in together. Again, in the background here, you can see I've done the scallops from that stencil and the chevrons, um, but it's just a really nice stencil, to be honest. Very 10 99 you're getting quite a lot of choices. We do a few of these in the store. Um, we have a lovely Christmas one as well. So any of you that are thinking of doing next year's cards or after that, um, good purchase to get. So let's take you to the colours. Let's show you what your choices are. So there's quite a few here. They're $5.99 a pop. We start off with light blue, and then we've got a silvery gold, a silver, a white, a moss green, copper, the transparent that we started the video with, uh, da, 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 brown, pink, steel, purple, gold, and black. And next up that I would actually go for is the black and the white. I love monochrome effects, and these don't seem to have the same amount of glitter in them as the others, they actually seem quite um, plain as they are. And I think you could do some really nice effects with them. Um, so that's it, that's our video for today, showing you the new um, 3D stamp stamping paint, that's the one. Um, if you do want any of these products, any of the colors, any of the tools, any of the stencils or even the stamps, just let us know in the comments to the video and we will have them held for you for up to seven days. Just pop down the ones you want from the store you wish to collect from. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye-bye.